It's my pensive pose. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> uh, that's Dallas. I'm Camo, and this is Nashville Access Facebook Live. It's not polite, but point. Haven't you ever been told? What? Pan? Did you lose your voice? Oh! Oh. Oh, a guest. A guest. Guest. A guest. Guest. Hello. Guest. And guest. I'm oh, not polite and pointing, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. We have people in here now. Yeah. That that can, unlike us, put two words together. Yes, exactly. Like, so you like, you might actually hear something today that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Uh, we've seen this crowd. I don't uh, think that's going to happen. No. <laughs> All right. uh, go ahead. Well, guys, the Tennessee Wraith Chasers. There they are. Okay, introduce yourselves yeah. starting there. I'm Brandon Smith. I'm the emitter on Ghost Asylum, the experiment. See, I call him an admitter too, but it's a different yep. thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm Porter. I'm the historian on the Tennessee Wraith Chasers on Ghost Asylum. Chris, I'm the founder of the Tennessee Wraith Chasers on Ghost Asylum. So you don't do anything. You're just the founder. I you just bounce. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Doogie. Um, I'm co-founder of the Tennessee Wraith Chasers on Ghost Asylum. He also just bounced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I bounced bounce this mic. <laughs> and I'm Mike, and I was tragically born without a title. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you told me you had it removed. I had it removed. I had it removed. <laughs> you can't get a loan if you don't have a title. It's uh, working his way up the corporate ladder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <there you> <laughs> um, for those who may not be familiar with Tennessee Wraith Chasers and Ghost Asylum, give us a quick rundown. We like to sit in uh, dark places, spooky places, and uh, talk to nobody. <laughs> right. That's what, that's what we do every week. <laughs> well, so, sometimes nobody, but every now and then we'll hit the Holy Grail and we'll actually find paranormal activity. Basically, that's what we do. We go around uh, abandoned places, the scary, the spookiest places that we can find, and we try to communicate with whatever it is out here that uh, that's talking back to us. Yeah. Sometimes not abandoned places. Sometimes we, we started we actually started off doing residential uh, for people that, that didn't understand the paranormal, had things going on in their home. We go in and try to explain it to them a little better, and then we kind of tried to further a little bit because we get a lot of flat because we try to contain this energy, but it's one of those things, if you can actually contain this energy and subtract it out of the equation, um, that you can actually help a family out, but we seem to be trying to do that in abandoned places right now before we go in and piss something off. And <laughs> so, uh, uh, old, of, old Uncle Dean comes out and be like, you're out, we'll die. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of bad stuff that goes on here, but I think it was just because of the bad contract. Here. <laughs> <laughs> One of the other things we do, when we go in and we try to pull up the history. We look at you know all the background story, what others happened there, you know, maybe even long before people were there. We look at the geological makeup. We look at a lot of different aspects that could be causing these uh, these interactions. I mean, 99% of this stuff can be explained through natural phenomena. It's paranormal by definition, so it's normal, just not understood. Uh, but there's that 1% that we look for that's supernatural. That's the thing that calls out your name when no one's there, or that thing that walks to the room when nobody else is in there with you and you have to catch it on uh, on film or whatever. But uh, That thing yeah. your cat stares at that you can't see. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. He's just there, he's, he's looking at you and he's like, he's just, Watching something walk through the room, and you're like, what are you looking at, man? What are you looking at? What you, what you know how cats are? I, mean, I think they're all drugs. Exactly. Yeah. That's why you have to question. You're like, do you really see something, man? Do I need to leave? Should I, go? Should I put on a helmet? <laughs> Let me get my helmet. Yeah, and Brandon, Brandon puts together some pretty unique uh, devices that we test in these locations, too, to try to see if we can... Uh, elicit the interaction or contain the uh, energy that's there. It's unlike the mad scientist or the, the legit. You're the MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> Comes up with this crazy stuff. But. Yeah, every now and then he'll come up with something pretty cool. We look at it and we're like, wow, man, you built that. And then sometimes we're like, what? what why did you, why it's did you it's do like that? a jar, jar? big, big <laughs> pile of bundle of wires. And like, <laughs> what did you just do? <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Smoke uh, comes out of it. Yeah. We're not sure if it's supposed to. Chase it. Ray, in, in, his, in his country boy terms, he's like, man, pretty much what this thing does, it catches ghosts. Uh, <laughs> of course, then we've got Mike. You know, Mike, Mike's done a lot of uh, workforce in the background, man. He's uh, he's kept us going a lot of times when we couldn't keep ourselves going. And and uh, he's he's been a great asset in addition to the team and and really adding a lot to it. So he's he's helping a lot on the business side, a lot on the uh, 
On the ghost hunt side, too. So he's, he's really small. pulling his I weight. might get a title of buddy into this. <laughs> buddy into this? I think we're going to call him the team motivator. Yeah, yeah that's it. Like Come on, guys. Find something. It's tonight. 5 o'clock in the morning. He's like, hey, guys. You're ready to go? <laughs> Woo! That's when we all fire our weapons in. We're like, Actually, get out. that's a good title, just yeah. asset. Asset. <laughs> well, a bad wine. title is the first three letters of that. <laughs> I'm reckon I'm the asset of Tennessee Big Pictures. No, Mike, Insert he, that. He's, he's come along, man, and he, he does a lot for TWC behind the scenes, uh, during the scenes. Uh, you know, he's over there making fun of us when we're talking to nobody sometimes. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, and, and, and the ladies love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. I mean, you could like it. I mean, look, look, look. What could you not like about that? <laughs> That's where you zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, girl? <laughs> so, y'all are from around Nashville area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gallatin. Yep. Well, all yep. of us born and raised in Gallatin, except for this guy. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. New Jersey. Yeah. New Jersey. I'll, I'll use all one syllable words for you guys right. then. <laughs> 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 we all grew up. We all grew up together. Uh, yeah. Us three, we all grew up on the same road, like just what, yeah. a mile and a half yeah. from each other. Oh, I was across the hill behind yeah. you. Porter's right behind the hill behind us. And Chase Ray, he's just, I don't know, he's always been in the woods somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he lived with Sasquatch for a while. Oh, oh, he did until he killed him. We're still not 100% <laughs> sure he ain't a Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say we've never seen him in the same room together. That's right. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So People have been hunting for him and we've had him the whole time. That's why they can't find him. We're saving that little gym. That's a season finale right there. <laughs> so, I mean, what, did this, what made you think, I know, we're going to go chase paranormal stuff? Lots of drugs. <laughs> no. uh, I think it started different from everybody. I know Chris, he's, he's got a story. I've got a story. Boy, I mean, it just all goes back to each one of us has had some kind of experience that made us wonder, okay, what else is there out here that we can't see or explain? And, I mean, it really is. It's like our adrenaline rush sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, just going out to these places and trying to see the Holy Grail, something walking that was, you know, not supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's not to say that you're always going to get some. You know, sometimes people, when they're watching the show, you know, they're watching a small bunch of snippets from a, a whole week or a weekend of filming. And, uh, you know, every time you go to these places, you're not always going to get the Holy Grail. Sometimes, you know, you don't get anything. You'll sit there for hours and... Mm -hmm. You know, that's when it kind of gets boring, but then when something happens, mm -hmm. you know, it. it's that's that, that moment that we live for right there. When you sit there for seven hours straight, you just keep, oh, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Have well, you ever we, come... we entertain ourselves yeah. pretty, yeah. pretty yeah. I think this we do true. a pretty good job of that. Have you ever come across anything that's just like, all right, we're out of here? Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> definitely. Uh, recently, I can speak to that. We did an investigation off camera. To an undisclosed location, you know this place is super secret. I've been there before. I've been there, and uh, it's one of the only places I've ever been. You know, we all took a turn doing a solo, and I was in there for maybe five minutes. And, oh, wow. it wasn't long. Yeah, it that's long. the only place I've ever been to where I just I left. I couldn't. I was like, nope. I was about to make my way up the stairs, this long spooky stairway. And I heard something up there that didn't agree with me, and I just said, nope, I'm, I'm going outside. <laughs> and cut! I'm, <laughs> and I'm, I'm, the dumb, I'm the dumb white guy. Yeah. He comes out, he's like, man, I'm not going back in there. And I'm like, something just crazy happens. He's like, I'm going in. <laughs> it's like the, the typical scary movie, like, oh, let's just say, let's go check it out. I'm just waiting for one of me to say, so they tied a string around my, my waist, and I went in. <laughs> <laughs> Things went south, they pulled me out. Yeah. You know, that's a good idea. I'm like Carol yeah. Ann on Pope's house. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like Carol Ann. Okay. Sarah Ann. We got investigator a leash. Strawberry-covered right. jam on tennis me. balls come flying out. <laughs> we, got a question. we got a question from Canada saying, what do you do with them when you catch them? Put them in Chaser Ray's basement. Or we take them home and see if they'll do dishes and ducks. <laughs> 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 
That is an interesting question because, like, yeah. you know, in the movies, they, like in the Ghostbusters movie, they made fun of it. They put it in the grid, and then the guy comes in and turns off the grid, and everything gets released. And Ghostbusters is real. Yeah, well, it's very real. Well, I mean, the first one was Peter real. Finkman is a scientist, and I would thank you, sir, for <laughs> respecting his reputation. The first one was real. The second one was just really somebody's <laughs> bad imagination. <laughs> he did steal a lot of my ideas. Of That's what I was going to say. But, I mean, like, what? So you guys, when you capture them, I mean, do you capture them for transport, or do you just try to contain the energy in the space that it's in? Well, basically just try to uh, come up with some kind of plan to contain this energy. And then after we contain it, um, we just see if it stays in there, you know. And, and if it does, we'll, we'll go with, like, I don't think things from generations and generations before us of, of how to keep it contained. You know, mm -hmm. bury it, concrete it, you know, put things around it to, to hold the energy in. Dude, but, Tupperware. <laughs> and that's the best. Then you can microwave it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's really get it out of here. Let's put this on 10 minutes. <laughs> 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 then it's like, auto defrost. Yeah. But, I mean, I mean, so far, we've only been able twice to actually contain something, and it wasn't for very long. Oh, wow. Um, so it, it's one of those things that we're trying to get to the point to actually understand how to contain it. Mm -hmm. But when we do contain it, then we have to come up with the solution of, how do we keep it contained, and where are we going to store it? I still vote Chasey Ray's house. And, and, and I think the secondary part to that, too, is that, is that we're not sure yet if it is being contained or if it's just traveling sure. with us. Uh, you know, these things that we're dealing with, they're, in some cases, they could be a whole lot older than what we are yeah. and, and been around for eons. So are they, you know, they're, they're higher, level, higher level of thought, higher functioning. So is it that they're just playing with us and yeah. giving us a small yeah. glimpse of their energy and their ability to stay with us? And then going on their way, and and is there some natural way that you can keep them from moving about? Just like in a battery, you know, you contain yeah, energy yeah. in a battery. Is there a way that we can contain that supernatural yeah. energy to where we can Absolutely. show that it's moving? Well, around? one thing about it is, you know, you have people think we're crazy for what we're doing, but you have other shows out here, other things it's like, oh, you know, this this piece of furniture, you know, has an attachment. You know, yeah. there's energy, can, and I'm like, okay, what's what's the difference yeah. if we bring Uncle Tom's, you know? coffee table over and be like, well, we're going to put this in the glass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, we're trying to do the same thing, but do it kind of logically instead of just saying, oh, that piece of wood, it contains a demon. You know, it's yeah. just like, that's not, you know, it's we're a doing learning, a little different. It's, it's a, a learning experience. It's yeah. just like any, you know, anything anybody goes out here and does. They start a business, they start a trade. I mean, you got to perfect that trade, and that's kind of what we're doing over there. I've always had my biggest concern, my biggest problem with the whole industry of the paranormal and the paranormal investigation is the fact that it just seems like over the past decade or so that real science is starting to be done. Where up until the last probably decade or so, it's always seemed to me like it was it was just immediately dismissed. So nobody with a real reputation or an actual science background that understood procedures and and politics of doing science and, and, and doing some science, man, and doing it right and investigating and learning how to deal with this. And then you guys, guys like you and some other folks around the country have started to do this as mm -hmm. a focus, as mm -hmm. a job and everything. And I think that it's really cool what you guys do and you're able to put it on TV, which is even cooler that you're actually putting it out there that, look, this is a, this is a field of study. Yeah. It's an investigative field that requires us to, to try to understand it, not just dismiss it. And, uh, you know, I have a background, uh, this, uh, I'm not a PhD or anything, but I have a background in math and science. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's the only way I think is in numbers, you know. So, and I mean, this is all experimentation. You know, we've kind of broadened out from trapping stuff mm -hmm. to experimenting in general. In a way, we kind of put the cart before the horse because first we've got to prove that we can trap it before we start making different traps. You know? Right. It's, you know, we got to start from the basics. Well, yeah. That kind of answers, Leanne from Texas checked in and said, is that kind of like on-the-job training? And that's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. It really is. I mean, there's no textbook you can go to in, in, in research. I mean, there's a lot of theory, there's a lot of, of uh, folklore that goes along with it, and, you know, and in some cases you have to look at that folklore to try to see if there's something there that you can harness to use in your scientific investigation. Uh, it's, it's nothing new. I mean, you, you look back even biblical times and, and before, they always talked of some kind of spirits, roaming spirits, you mm -hmm. know, demons, you know, that whole aspect. And, and just like the Bible, people always ask us, well, how can you be Christians and be 
you know, paranormal investigators, I'm like, well, if you believe in the Bible at all, it's all yeah. supernatural. Yeah. It's not yeah. mutually exclusive. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, and, and like, you know, getting on what we were saying, there, there's no manual. You can't go down here to the library and use your card and be like, mm -hmm. yeah, I need to go over here and get the, the, the How to Trap a Ghost book. Right. You know, or, or look it up on YouTube. How to Trap a Ghost. Oh, that's what it was. That's what we were missing, that one miracle. Yeah. I mean, we get a lot of uh, of flack, too, from, from people in the scientific community that say, oh, well, you're doing this wrong because this is not how the scientific process works, or you can't do this because there are certain laws of physics that say that, that will not occur if you're doing this thing. But that's to say that these entities are bound by our laws uh, yeah. of science, biology, and mathematics. And, and I don't believe they are. If they're supernatural, they are beyond our laws of science. They're beyond right. our laws of comprehension. So we're trying to, we're in a realm that just, we have no clue as to how it functions. Well, yeah, to, I mean, case of, to your point is if they followed the laws that we understood, we'd already understand what they were. Exactly, exactly right. Yeah. There so what? Right. <laughs> there would be, there would be no field. I like that. I'm lost. <laughs> no, basically, what he just said, there, there would be no field. I mean, why, right. why would we be yeah. out trying to understand If we understood we how understood. all this actually worked, then <laughs> this book. wouldn't be a field of study. There'd be a book. <laughs> and, and, there would, and there would be no excuse for Geraldo going after Al Capone. Right, ball. yeah, Al Capone's <laughs> ball. There would, there would definitely be a cliff notes. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you don't find a book that, that tries to, you know, prove, you know, one plus one equals two. Yeah. We just know it, you know. But, I mean, you know, it's not like that, even yeah. though I wish it were. Yeah, wouldn't it be nice if there was an equation that could make it all just one plus one equals two? If this That's goes as this, you can travel with this. Uh, I'm working on that. Yeah, I'm working on it. Be out of a you can literally <laughs> write the book. <laughs> That's a good point of not knowing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the constantly, it could be as simple as a Tupperware thing, and you mm -hmm. don't even know. <laughs> yeah. All along. Oh, rubber lock back rubber made <laughs> it rush the the in the center and it locks the top. <laughs> it only keeps the ghost in if you burp it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can just see you guys all in this pretzel tot holding something down. <laughs> Hand me the saran wrap. <laughs> <laughs> right, that sounds exactly like something. Yeah, <laughs> we do it. But, uh, something that, that I think is so cool about the paranormal is the unknown aspect mm -hmm. of it. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's the fun part, you know, that's the adrenaline rush. I mean, that's what I think everybody loves being scared. People pay money every year, this time of year, to go get the crap scared out of you. Mm -hmm. Haunted houses and stuff. I mean, we just get to do that year round. <laughs> that's your job. Yeah. That's our job. That's do you still thing. get scared, scared? I mean, oh, are, there, are there points yeah, where you're... Yeah. I mean, like, I can I can understand getting the goosebumps and getting that, oh, this, this is something weird, but, I mean, do you actually get scared that something's going to happen to well, you? Well, yeah, every time we leave Taco Bell, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we get scared. <laughs> That's demons. I hear the right. of demons. <laughs> that means we can scratch the old Taco Bell thing off our list. <laughs> <laughs> and there went that sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, we would not talk about it unless we made it. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> would just made it every day. It was fine. It's delicious. Um, but look, there, there's so many people, though, that claim to be an expert in the field. <laughs> And, and mm -hmm. there are no experts in the field. There are those that have had more experiences than others. But to say you're an expert would mean that you understood it to a certain point. And I just don't think we do that yet. You know, one of the things I respect about you guys the most is, because I watch, I'm, I'm a religious watcher of these things. We've talked about this when we first met, that I mean, like, I've, I've worked with a team in Cincinnati, did audio and stuff. So this has always been something that I've had experiences, like you say, when I was a kid. So I, I, I believe, I want to believe, I want to understand it. But like you say, there's no, there's no answers. But you guys... Do not ever make declarative statements like that. Like, you can watch, I could name names of a couple other hosts of shows that go in and go, Well, the reason this happens is the, you know, the energy is more, it's the Fetzer valve and the widget goes, you know, I mean, they, they have no idea what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. But they're giving it to you like, well, the fact is, and they don't. You guys, have, I've ne out of all the episodes I've seen, and I've watched a bunch now, I've never heard you guys say, well, the reason that happens is, or this is why or how this works because you don't know. Yeah, we're and still I, trying to find out. Right. You know, that's yeah. our passion. We we want to know. You know, we're not down here trying to tell people what it is. We're t we're we're like tell us something. You know, yeah. we learn it. We let time. you come up with your own conclusions. Mm -hmm. I mean, we go in there, we get the facts that we get, and that's how we present it. Yeah. And I mean, we can't go in there and say, oh, this we we were talking to little Johnny. It's always. You know, we may have been talking to, to, to little Johnny. We may have been talking to, you know, the, the, the ex-doctor that was here. We don't know. We They're not wearing know. name tags. Yeah. Hello, my name is exactly. little Johnny. Yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, you, you don't know, but 
we just put out the evidence and uh, and the EVPs, uh, whatever we get on video out there, and you draw your own conclusion. Yeah. Is yeah. that who we're talking to? We don't know, but that's who we hope we're. And that's about. what I like about it, like because I, I mean I, the the phrase I hear a lot on on, on especially any is a lot of some of these investigation shows, and not just paranormal, but they use the phrase a lot. Could it have been, or perhaps it, and then they give you a scenario that could explain what it, which is. This, Goes right into the storyline that they've been pursuing the whole night, you know, when it could be a ball of cheese. I, yeah, you don't yeah, know. Yeah. And so, but that's one of the things I just wanted to compliment you guys on the fact you. that you're keeping it as real as possible and not going and saying, well, this ghost, uh, you know, came through the wall. They can't walk yeah. through solid objects like that without us, you know, you, you don't do that. Yeah. And I love that about you. Well, you know, there's been, there's been situations and, and, or investigations before we even got on TV, you know, we were doing this. And, and there, we've had the opportunity to go out and, and help people because they, uh, I, I can remember one case we had, I won't disclose where it's at, but there was a house and there was a, a child that was in the house that was having these outbursts. And, and as we got in there doing the investigation, we found that there was a standing EMF field about three foot off the ground that was the equivalent of standing underneath the high transmission power lines. Oh, wow. And it was right at his level of his head. Yeah. And, and so after the, throughout the night, we, we found that throughout the house and around the outside of the house. And so we told them, we don't know if you have something here that's supernatural, but there is an obvious anomaly at the same level as what his head is. And so they took him out of that house, and after about a month, no more outbursts, no more nothing. Yeah, yeah. 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 completely away. What was so strange, not only was it in the house, but you could walk into their yard out to the road mm -hmm. and the sidewalk, and it was still there. Everywhere. But you go into the next lot, no. nothing there. So it was an electromagnetic field that was Maybe localized to the mm -hmm. house. I don't know yep. if it was something to do with wow. the underground cables yep. that they had buried because a lot of the electricity was yeah. was underground, or is it just something with Natural. all all of that energy soaking into some kind of limestone there that just yep. you know that's how far wow. the field was coming up, you know, three foot into the house yeah, outside I, of the. Even that fields are no joke. Now that is no, one scientifically yeah. proven thing. Mm -hmm. That'll do crazy stuff to the human body. It's like, it causes a fear cage. Yeah. And it call, I mean, if you really. <laughs> I don't know, I guess, I call it allergic to it, you mm -hmm. know, in a, in a sense. Sensitivity. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the sensitivity to it. Um, some people don't have any repercussions Never from it, but me. other people can have hallucinations, yeah. um, ca cause them to be sick, dizzy, mm -hmm. you know, just they can't tell where they're at sometimes if it's real high. Um, so, you know, it, it's kind of crazy how it affects people and how it affected that child, mm -hmm. um, especially with him having autism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they're kind of, uh, I don't know much about it, but aren't autist autistic kids kind of working with a different level anyway? They're tuned a little bit different. So. Right. And, and this kid, you know, he, he, he didn't know to make, to make things up. I mean, he just, what it is, what it is, black or white, you know, and, and the things he was telling to us. And, and one creepy thing, do you remember we were in the kitchen and he, he come to me and this is what made me wonder, okay, is it the EMF field or, or what did it? what's going on because the mother never told him while we were there she just said we were coming to fix something in the house mm -hmm. uh, we met him I was standing in the kitchen you know taking some readings and he comes he comes over and I can't remember the exact name he used but he looked up at me and he said they know why you're here and they don't want you here and I was like Okay. Look at those. Too bad we can't stay. Get out, right? You know what? We left the iron on. Get out. That was one of the. Oh. That was one of the strangest things about that case. Oh. He just went on about his business. Yeah. You know. Like, like nothing ever happened. So I've been like, y'all, I'm guarding the truck. <laughs> <laughs> there were some strange names that he that these things had. Yeah. yeah. And um and, and that's what he said. Like the the main one knew while we were there, and he didn't. He didn't want us there. Yeah. Well, he, he was having dreams too. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Night terrors. Yeah. Night terrors. Yeah. I read a thing the other day about that of the kids. Like that, this guy was. <laughs> the story that floored me was it was a mom sitting there talking to her son. Her son was four, and she's sitting beside him playing on the thing. And he just kind of stands up and says, "I'll be right back, mommy." And she's like, "Where are you going?" And he goes walking into the other room, and she can hear him talking. And uh, she says she finally gets up and goes walking in there and says, "Who are you talking to?" And she says, he said, the man. She says, what man? He goes, the man, the man with the weird face. And she's like, what, what, what honey, I don't know what you're talking about. She goes, you know, he's, he's the man with the weird, and he kept doing this. And uh, she said, this went on for a couple weeks, and finally uh, they went to talk to this neighbor who's next door. He's about, uh, about 95 years old, had been living in that house for 50 or 60 years. And uh, was asking him, had told him, just mentioned that, and he said, 
what did he say he looked like? And she said, well, he kind of cocked his head this way and said he had a weird face. And turns out the guy that lived there before hung himself. Oh, oh wow. Wow. that's creepy. That's In the that, kitchen. Wow. That's creepy. Where the kid was standing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, but it's stuff like that. It's kids. I, I, I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I think that, like, autistic kid yeah. people and, and children... <laughs> They don't have the cutoff valves that we develop right. as an adult that stops you from going down that path mentally. Yeah. I think that when you're a kid, you know, it's just Santa Claus? Yeah! You know, Easter Bunny? Yeah, why not? Right? Their religious yeah. base is not set yet. You know, right. They don't, they don't have those things. You don't like have we the cutoff. Yeah, right. You, still, you don't stop believing something. You just kind of take it and go, all right, let's go there. What, what else? Tell me more. Mm -hmm. But so it's weird when they start saying stuff like that. I mean, you, you have to pay attention, right? Yeah, I mean, you can't right. ignore the innocence of a child when he's like yeah there's a dude in the other room hanging from the ceiling yeah by the way what was that voice <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that and the way you said it like he yeah. likes the way you talk <laughs> <laughs> I sure got a pretty mouth <laughs> but, um, but I'm kind of like the I'm kind of foolish in a way that uh I always try to test my fear I always do the solos and I'm kind of like Doogie like well, that house, I had to go up to the second floor that Chris left. And then, you know, I just like walking. Sometimes I'll even walk around in a dark place with no flashlight and just walk in the dark. Yeah, he does because we look for him from like. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be He's back at the hotel. We, we always got to do drywall work the next day. <laughs> <laughs> My shins would show the, the scars from that, man. Yeah. But they, they never come up to me, though. You know, these entities, it's like, dude, he's really sensitive, but if they're messing with me, you know, I can't see it. It's like, shh, he's here. <laughs> Everybody be quiet. He don't see it a whole lot, but he's actually, uh, he and I, I know the last two investigations that we did, yeah. spent a lot of time, and, and he actually started seeing some of the stuff that was around me, like the shadow man. Well, and then, yeah. and then the one that come up in the camera at Old South Pittsburgh. Yeah, there's just some kind of totally blocked moment. my camera out right yeah. in front of us, and he was like. What's going on? It's like, I don't know. My camera just went black. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. Full, full blown shadow person to come. We had, uh, we brought him in on a gurney and yeah. we left the GoPro going on the gurney and come down the hall. We turned around mm -hmm. and that thing was at the gurney looking at the, the GoPro and then just gone. Full oh, body. dude. Oh, yeah, it's one of those ones that you're just like, oh, holy. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> See, that's, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I see that you guys do what I if I, I love what you guys do and I would do it in a heartbeat. That is that's the coolest thing in the world to have that experience oh, and yeah. to to have an, an experience that you can truly honestly to the core of your being say I have no idea what just happened. And, and it's, it's, just cool. happened. it's cooler when you can catch it. You know, yeah, we get it yeah. on camera or on audio. Oh. Or, I mean, it's cool to experience it yeah. but when you actually he's, catch it. He's good at catching. Yeah. He doesn't see that's it with right. his eyes, but he goes in and he's so yeah. disastrous with the camera. Essentially, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like because he's looking this way, but he's he's shooting this way, which is perfect for yeah. what we do. Yeah. He was he was in a place was it Missouri? Oh, the St. Vincent. Saint Saint Vincent. Vincent. Oh, cool. He he's walking. The camera's going everywhere. Most of the time, filming somebody's butt. Most right. of the time, <laughs> but the, the camera was going, and he was looking off somewhere else. He caught the the total vision of a ghost coming through the the door that had always been there. It looked like Aquaman. It looked like yeah. it was dragging something, and looked right at him, and then walked right into a wall. Yeah. And what what they didn't show on the show was. Brandon actually walked into the other room. There was a hole in the wall. He walks into the room, and whatever just walked yeah. in there said his name. Said, yep, Brad. Yep. Oh, that was just... <laughs> too bad we can't stay. <laughs> but he, he, he never heard it. It was just yeah. on the camera. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. he yeah. oh man. <laughs> but but what was so cool? We caught it on the camera and on the, the voice recorder. Oh. Yeah, that's what was so awesome. So you got it on two sources. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two, two, two we, sources means true. Yeah, yep, there you go. We used to get on to them because when we're going, because we have to go over this stuff, like hours of it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, dude, what are you doing? Because it's, you know, it's it's asses, elbows. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Blair Witch. The <laughs> Sugarland <laughs> song. But now, now, after he's caught all this stuff, we're just like, do your thing. Take your camera, go, man. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Selena in Canada asked, is it possible you're catching those visions because they know you're not paying attention? I mean, that's yeah, exactly, that's I think exactly. that's exactly what we just explained. I think that's exactly true. Well, there's a rule in physics that talks about, particle physics, that talks about like the, the fact that... Isaac Berg's uncertainty. Yeah, that you, you, it, you it, they don't exist until you look at yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. Right. It, it, 
if you observe it, it messes yeah. up. Yeah, once you observe it, it freezes. Yeah. And it, you can you can see it, but if you're not looking at it, it's everywhere. It's not at one yeah. point. And it that's that's a great. I think that's a valid point. Yeah, and I think that's why a lot of people, even us, you know, you you have a lot of people with experiences in their peripheral vision. Mm -hmm. They'll see something out of the corner mm -hmm. of their eye. When they look at it, it's gone. Yeah. We have that all the time, especially yeah. with shadow beings for right. some reason. Oh, we did that experiment. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, there, there. I mean. If you get a chance to do it, it's going to tear your brain apart. I'm going to go ahead <laughs> yeah. and tell you. And the goggles we made was totally blacked out, and we cut holes on the side, so all you could see was peripheral. Uh, Chasey, wow. Chasey Ray and I did it at um, uh, Fort, the, uh, uh, St. Augustine. St. Augustine Fort. Yeah. And, man, there is some crazy stuff going on out here. But like I said, it, it's going to give you a headache because you're – you're always focused forward. You're, you're, you're right, trying to go this way. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to spread sitting, out. You're sitting there and they're just constantly battling. But the yeah. thing about it, you see so much going on. And what proved it was Chasey, Chasey Ray and I both seen these apparitions up in the windows through these just perfectly. I mean, it's like, dude, there's something there. We caught it on our cameras that we had mounted in peripheral. We made cameras with mirrors, so all it shot was peripheral. And it ended up... Uh, I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that's peripheral trademark. <laughs> Copy right. That's right. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Peripheral. 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 I like it the better. I just keep saying it. Yeah. Yeah. What it is, it's the peripheral. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. That's the same thing. That's a, it's the same thing when I hear somebody that's in the actual government military branch refer to something as nuclear. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It's accepted now. I just like no proceed. No <laughs> Selena said, "Yeah, that black thing you see, and then it's gone." She said she lived in a house like that. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. in your peripheral. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. that's right. See, now I have never, ever in my life had anything that remotely comes close to what was that? Really? Ever, ever. Oh my gosh. Either I'm really just, yeah. you know, dense. And they they just could care less. Uh, you know what? I, I don't. I think some people are tuned to it, and some people aren't. I think some people can see it, and some people can't. And I don't. I don't think it's a preference. I don't. I think you're either. It's just like you're talking about the, the autistic kids. I think yeah. you're either wired to, to to tune in, or you're not. You know, you're AM or FM. If it doesn't come on basic cable, right? Um, <laughs> it's, it's, much, it's not on the basic well, package. If you've never put yourself in, in a, a position, in a yeah. position like say we go to these these huge jails. Um, Louisville, Kentucky, oh, uh, yeah. Wiggle Hills. Wiggle Wiggle Hills. Hills. The place is massive. Just go in there and sit by yourself, you know, for hours on end. Now, now, see, that being said, I have been in places like the Tower of London, where you would expect there's lots of scary things kind of floating around there, but nothing. There's really. so many people that go in there every day, though, I think even the ghosts would be numb to it by now. But, you know, in, in the UK and other places in the world, but when I lived there, there are so many places that you can go to that are old and have, you know, pubs that are 600 years old. Yeah, and, yeah. And things like that that you would expect, but it's like, unless he's serving me a beer, I'm not. <laughs> hey, did you guys ever do Bobby Mackey's? No, yeah, we no. haven't. You have never done that one? Mm -hmm. no. That's the, uh, that's, uh, that's. I'd like that's to cool. go up there and see if that portal is actually there that they talk about. Well, that's what I'm talking about. A lot of people talk about it. I know that another show featured it, but then there was a, I've got a friend of mine that, that kind of, it's kind of his hobby. He goes and does it, and he went up there and just talked to the guys. Never investigated it, but I mean the stories that come out of that place. If you just go and sit and talk to the people that are in there all the time, the yeah. stories they'll give you are, are just terrifying. Uh, I mean, we we've always said we'd like mm -hmm. to go up there and, and actually you know see if that's going on or not mm -hmm. because everybody has a different story. I know a few other shows have been there and they both had two different outcomes. Yeah. So we'd like to see what the Wraith Chasers outcome would be. Exactly, you know? and I would like to see you guys do it because I think I'd believe you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anya Kristen Crone from Denmark has joined, and she said Copenhagen is better. If you want to see scary stuff, come to Copenhagen. Hey, we are. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a skull man. So. <laughs> <laughs> we would definitely like to go across seas. I know it had it, yeah. uh, been yeah. sh it shoved be. around us yeah. talking about this, uh, you know, upcoming season. Um, but you know, it's still yet to be determined. Whether that's yeah, you guys got to go over to Europe because yeah. it's Europe, you know, where yeah. history comes from. Yeah. <laughs> 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 where history begins. <laughs> they, got, they got like 
tunnels with skulls. Yeah, they got castles. Man, they got everything. Like oh. real castles. Oh, I've got, got, I've got yeah. some castles over there. there. I'm a McDougal. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, awesome. I got a McDougal. I think I forgot. Yeah. It's Scottish blood. We take no responsibility for bad accents being done here. Not mentioning any names. The is we're actually on in Scotland, so right now someone is going... Oh, he's an idiot. That guy's just an idiot. <laughs> he don't sound anything like it. Oh, that's shite. This is <laughs> that was not, better. This is not how we talk. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the show. You got a couple things kind of big that are coming up, right? Yes, we do. Somebody that knows more about the beats and stuff. <laughs> Somebody who read the talking <laughs> Hey, <points>. historian. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, tomorrow, October 26th, we've got a marathon coming on. Uh, I think it begins at uh, 2. two. And then we have another uh, marathon coming on November the 6th, so you can watch some of our uh, episodes we've already recorded there on Destination America. Uh, also, we have coming up this uh, we have coming up this weekend on Saturday, we've got a uh, benefit, speaking of autism, we're doing a, a benefit Halloween party in Gallatin, Tennessee, uh, to benefit Autism Speaks. Uh, so it's going to start at 5 p.m. and go till about midnight. Uh, we're going to have a costume contest for the kids and for the adults. We're going to have uh, hay rides. We're going to have food truck. We're going to have uh, music, uh, potato sack races, all kinds of stuff going up there. Those are scary. Silent, <laughs> auction. <laughs> silent auction. We've got some great stuff that's been donated that's going to be up for silent auction, and all of it's going to be to benefit Autism Speaks. Silent yeah. auction. And I love yeah. the, the fact that you're able to give away something quiet is amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> James Messenger says, love the show, guys. Thanks, well, thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, speaking of shows. Speaking of shows. Here, hey, you, man. You take this. Here. And I'll tell people what's on the show. Right. It's, a, it's our Halloween-themed show, you know, fitting in with the whole ghost thing. So we're going to have some country music, kind of Halloween favorites. We've got some Halloween-related news to tell you about. Our Nashville Access Super Pick comes from a lady from San Antonio, and she's dynamite. I saw her last week at Bluff House Concerts. She blew everybody away. She's going to be our super pick. We've got our top three countdown. And uh, the interview on the show is actually going to be the These Tennessee guys. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about some of their scariest things that we haven't covered here. So uh, make sure you catch National Access. It's going to be a great show. 56 radio stations in 15 countries. And I can do that by doing that plus that. <laughs> so th make sure you catch the show this week. Anything else? we got to show the board. Show the big I'm still trying to get the Chuck Woolery moment out of you there. Come on. <laughs> I'll be back in two and two. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the Jumbotron here. All right, there it is. That's the show right there. See it? See it? That's the whole thing. Congratulations. You saw the show. Yeah. 15 you know, here, I, I'm, I'm not going to show. I'll tell you what. I'm not going to show the, 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 the songs because we've actually got a couple of surprise songs yeah, this week. Cool. Some, yeah, some stuff that are like Halloween themed. Not a lot of Halloween themed country songs, but we found a few and we found a couple that Aren't in the mainstream. They don't get played on the radio a lot. But like, a little, they've got a little big town song you guys are going to love. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Cool. That's really cool. So thanks uh, to the Tennessee Wraith Chasers. Yes, thank you, gentlemen. Yeah. Thank you. Your thank show, you. when can people normally catch the show and what channel in the U.S. anyway? Well, they moved it around now, so it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Our typical night is on, on Sunday nights uh, at um, uh, 9, it's 9 Central, uh, 10 Eastern. Uh, don't know when the new shows are going to start. Uh, you know, we're still waiting on the network to get everything squared away there for us to get out and start filming. Uh, but uh, yeah, tune in, check us out, and then uh, see what you uh, see. If you can check uh, check out some of the older shows too. Across, across, across destination, seas. yeah, across, yeah. It's Destination America in the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. Across seas, Discovery ID. Yeah, yeah and you can follow us on uh, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, go to you know, just type in Tennessee Raid Stations on Facebook. You can check out all of our events that are coming up. Also, go to GhostHuntWeekends.com. You can come on a ghost with us. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some events to be had there, so uh, yeah, just check us out. Hey, do me a favor, just out. because it's a weird word, spell Wraith, just so they can get to it. W-R-A-I-T-H. <laughs> so, Wraith. Wraith. All right, so Tennessee Wraith Chasers. Is it plural, Chaser or Chasers? Chasers, because there's a lot of them. Okay, so, yeah. so Tennessee Wraith Chasers, if they if they search that on social media, they can they can yes, track sir. you guys out. Absolutely. Well, go friend them up, guys. Hook up with these guys. If you haven't watched the show... Destination America or overseas, it's Discovery ID. Discovery mm -hmm. ID. Yeah. Ghost Asylum. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Let's Thanks, make us guys. a radio show. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Ready to go. Thank you. Whee! See you.